today three women are gonna cook for me and I'm gonna choose which one I'm gonna date based on their dish. Are you excited to meet three sexy ladies? Yes, I am sweating right now. <laughs> my name is Kiona. My name is Alexandra. My name is Vi. My name is Elia. I am from a small town called Trento in Northern Italy. It's very well, well known for like wine and there's a bunch of cows around. So, so I was with someone uh, until three months ago and then uh, we broke up and the breakup was actually quite hard. And so actually getting back into the dating scene has been, man, I feel like I've been rusty, honestly. My name is Alexandra Catalano, because I am Italian, but I am from Sherman Oaks, California. I like Italian cooking because my family's Italian and I grew up eating lots of homemade pastas and, and fresh foods. Some kale. I feel like that's a lot of kale. We'll save the rest for later. This is the secret sauce to all Italian food. When in doubt, add garlic. I'm gonna go on my tippy toes. I don't know if he's gonna like this. This might upset him. He's a real Italian person. This is chickpeas because I'm a millennial and millennials hate gluten. So I did something that I think he might hate, but I didn't mean to. I'm a healthy lifestyle person and I, I have a food blog and I'm a nutritionist. So I like to take foods that people love and make them healthy. So I made a kale pesto and I'm doing it with a chickpea pasta, which I think will upset him. But I wanna show him who I am and what I would cook. And if he doesn't like it, I totally understand. It looks awesome. I mean, presentation is so colorful. I, I love the, the connection with the green and the yellow. I, I love that they actually took the time to put the little pesto pieces, I guess, by the, by the side of the dish. Wait till he eats it. Oh God. He really hated it, huh? I was upset by this dish. I oh. have been. So it looks like pasta al pesto con piselli, which is the equivalent of uh, pesto pasta uh, with peas. Ooh, does he speak Italian? I want him to whisper in my ear all night, girl. Pasta, pasta, just pasta. Mm. So whispers pasta dishes to me. Mm, say that again. <laughs> what is this thing called? I, I swear to, I swear, I, I should know what the name of this is. Uh, it looks like pesto, but it's, it's like slightly more creamy than I was expecting. So I'm actually curious to try what this sauce is. It might just be pesto. I'll tell him this <laughs> He's, he sound real sexy though, he really do. It looks like it's someone that cares about presentation as a whole. They care about the way that they show up to the world. I don't know why, this kind of reminds me of someone that's like vegetarian or vegan, which to me is a plus because I'm vegetarian. It might be the, just the fact that it's green, but yeah. And I don't know why, the piece remind me of someone that's maybe slightly more outgoing. This is gonna hurt. Go Alex. <laughs> Looks like he look likes it. Look, look, it looks like he likes it. This is incredible. The sauce, I can really feel the basil coming out and uh, it feels like it's actually like basil that has been made into the sauce recently. I wonder if the actual sauce has been uh, handmade by them, but it's really, really good. Put this in the bag, see, confidence. Get, get, girls, get, get, get it together, get it together. I do wish one thing and that is slightly more salt. Uh, the sauce itself makes it really stand out, but there's a little bit of a lack of salt. That's what I said when I tried it. That's what I said when I tried it. I was like, you need some salt, honey. Hello, my name is Vi, and I grew up in Pennsylvania. I love Italian food so much. I don't know if it was Garfield or just really loving noodles ever since I was a kid, but that's, it's my favorite food. Give me pasta and I'm happy. My stepdad, Tete is Lithuanian for dad, so my Tete, he taught me how to cook when I was really young. Okay, now my trick for the stock is that with the last like 30 minutes, I add a ton of nutritional yeast here. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a little bit more pepper on there. Oh my God. I made the, all of the noodles from scratch and then it's like a cauliflower tomato sauce with zucchini and bell pepper mixed in. Thank you. This looks like fries, but I don't think it's fries because it's not quite Italian. <laughs> This looks really interesting. I cannot quite tell what it is, to be honest. Oh no. But this might actually be a good sign. I see a lot of what I'm gonna call cheese. I'm not sure if it's cheese, I think it's cheese. Is that a cheesy person? <laughs> I'm in those dad jokes, okay? Yeah. It actually does really look really good. I'm looking forward to trying it. So it's definitely not pasta. It's made with cauliflower? Uh, well, I mean the sausage. Okay. Yeah. But no, it's, it's like, I mean, but that's pasta. homemade pasta. Yeah. And he said it's not pasta. Well, he's an Italian man. None of our pastas are going to be pasta. Let me try again. Mm. 
Is it wrong that I like watching him chew? <laughs> I do like it. It's um, slightly spicy, but in a way that's not overbearing, which is awesome. Is it a bad thing that I don't know what this is? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you want to know what it is. Tell no, you just need to enjoy person. it. Yeah, yeah. kind of like, like it. what are you predicting? I like that. This is someone that's complete, that's like cares about creating a unique experience that, that hits on many different points. This is totally something that I could eat for the whole day and like be satiated by it. By it. Oh. Okay, so okay. So I'm still trying to figure out what this is. This feels like the complete package. I'm so happy yeah, for you. I'm, my name is Kiona. I was originally born in New York. So growing up in New York, that's who I was raised around. Black people and Italians. We gonna um, put our love in this and make it do what it do. Fresh tomato. And for the carrot. It's looking good. I'm not gonna front. You smell good. Today I cooked an Italian-inspired stuffed red pepper. I think he's gonna think, oh, this girl's got flavor. This actually looks awesome. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm winning this Italian man. It looks like pepperoni con formaggio. Pepperoni con formaggio e quinoa. This is actually quite exciting to me. Yeah, you should be excited. Exciting. It's about to be a party in your mouth, boo. This sounds like someone that may be busy, on the go, and like has a lot of things going on, and like they don't really have a lot of time to actually make food, which I am like that too, so. Yeah, always busy. That is me. It's really hot. <laughs> Taste is incredible. There you go. Loved it. Taste is incredible. It's so good. <laughs> Honey. It's actually really, really freaking good. Really, really freaking good. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the way in which she combines the flavors is honestly a 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh my god. I, why do I feel like I just want American Idol? Oh man, this is. Actually incredible. I really, I really want to finish this. This is someone that looks good, tastes good. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually really excited about meeting this, this girl. Oh God, my heart is melting. Pepper girl wins. I love the way you, you put this together. I love the fact that you seem efficient and flavorful. I love that you, you went with many different flavors, which happen to combine together really freaking well. I decided, Kiona. You're, you're literally a, a, a light that shines in, into a room and like everyone's like... like oh my god! Of... No, seriously. Did I just meet my husband? <laughs> I'm hot. All right, all right, all right. You know what? Let's go on a date. <laughs> Let's go. Bye. Thank you, Buzzfeed! Ciao. Ciao. Rivederti ancora That's my way of saying